4,000 cadets at the U.S. Air Force Academy got a stark lecture from Lieutenant General Jay Sil Silveria. The school superintendent, after racist messages and racial slurs, were found outside five black Air Force cadet candidates' dorm rooms at the Academy's prep school. One message, which was posted on Facebook by cadet candidate's mom, read, Go home, nigger. This lieutenant general did not hold back. What we should have is a civil discourse and talk about these issues. That's a better idea. But I also have a better idea, and it's about our diversity. And it's the power of the diversity, the power of the 4,000 of you and all of the people that are on the staff tower and lining the glass, the power of us as a diverse group, the power that we come from all walks of life, that we come from all parts of this country, that we come from all races, we come from all backgrounds, gender, all makeup, all upbringing. The power of that diversity comes together and makes us that much more powerful. So just in case you're unclear on where I stand on this topic, I'm gonna to leave you with my most important thought today. If you can't treat someone with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. If you can't treat someone from another gender, whether that's a man or a woman, with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. If you demean someone in any way, then you need to get out. And if you can't treat someone from another race or a different color skin with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. Let's go to our panel, Malik Boyd, Long Victoria Burke, Anthony Hales. You need to get out. That's what a leader says. Mm -hmm. Maybe Trump should see that video. Look, <laughs> that should be played everywhere. I think. First, I think we need to celebrate mm -hmm. and, and uh, no, and, but identify the acknowledgement that needs to be given to these, camp, these cadets. Because you know that that climate didn't start with <laughs> those messages, right? <laughs> so, so let's start there. But then more importantly, let's celebrate this lieutenant general. He killed it from the very beginning. Look, we're going to cut this. Put this on your phones, your social media, right, whatever the yeah. case may be. Talk but about we're, it. We're going to have this conversation <laughs> today. Yeah. But it's a first response. The best part was to record me and sit and talk about this right. when you need a reminder. <laughs> Y'all need to get together and talk Absolutely. about what I'm saying to you right now. You know, hold up your phones, and then he waited for everybody to hold up the phone. Mm -hmm. So obviously, it's it's a leadership that That's we haven't seen from do. the White House. Right. I mean, it's so not Trump. It's so great that it's you know, it's a military leader, and also too, I think they're going to find somebody and expel that student. Well, I, that's my prediction. But, on but that, here's what I love. You know. This is what we've seen mm -hmm. for the past eight months. We've seen military leaders right. make it perfectly clear yeah. we're not having this. Yeah. They defied Trump on the issue of transgender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They defied Trump after Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. you, you have actually seen military leaders, largely white men, come out making strong statements dealing with race, mm -hmm. dealing with gender, and basically saying to the president, whatever, <laughs> I think there's a think exactly. two things right. One, there's a there's a culture also. I think the military is it's, it's very serious. Like when you're on the battlefield, right? You need right. to know that everyone has your back, right? It, that's life or death. Sometimes, what appalls me about this situation is the fact that someone felt comfortable sprawling racist graffiti on the wall on the facility of our, our nation's military. That. That bothers me. Well, that's all uh, about what James Baldwin said about needing the N-word. I mean, you need to have that person below you so you can feel better about yourself. That's the inherent that's exactly, heart of racism. That's exactly what so it is. So this guy really got to that yep. and the fact that obviously you have you need unit cohesion in the yeah. military. Everybody understands that. Mm -hmm. And he went right to that. Eight days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.